I am Mrs. B. Revathi, working as Head and Assistant Professor of BVOC Marine in ADM College for Women, Autonomous Nagapattinam. Today we are going to discuss about foodborne diseases. What is mean by foodborne diseases? At the end of this lesson, the students will be able to describe what is mean by foodborne diseases, list the examples of common foodborne diseases and causative agents and another one is define the terms outbreaks and cluster of foodborne illness. And another one is list the goals of a foodborne diseases and outbreak and investigation. Then another one is describe the desirable knowledge and skills included on a foodborne outbreak investigation and team. What is mean by foodborne diseases? Foodborne diseases are a result of ingestion of foodstuffs infected with microorganism or chemical. Next is the contamination of food may occur at any stage in the process from production to consumption. Foodborne illnesses or foodborne diseases is sometimes called food poisoning. Food poisoning affected in every year 1 in 6 Americans get sick from eating contaminated foods or drinking contaminated beverages. Then next slide is foodborne diseases. It is a problem in both developing and developed countries. It is a strain on healthcare systems. Severely affects infants, young children, elderly and the sick. Creates a vicious cycle of a diarrhea and malnutrition. Hurts the national economy and development and the international trade of food diseases can become contaminated with dangerous microorganism at any point before conception. Following simple food hygiene steps can prevent most foodborne diseases. Uh, move upon the next topic. Foodborne illnesses is sometimes called food poisoning. Each year, 1 in 6 Americans get sick from eating contaminated foods or drinking contaminated beverages of food stuffs. Following simple food hygienic steps can prevent most foodborne diseases. Let me move upon the next topic. What causes a foodborne illnesses? What is mean by foodborne illnesses? The most common causes of foodborne illnesses are bacteria and viruses such as Salmonella, Norovirus, Clastridium, Perfringens, Campylobacter, Listeria monocytogenes and Staphylococcus aureus. What is at risk for foodborne illnesses? Foodborne illnesses can affect anyone who eats contaminated food. Certain groups like, note of this point, pregnant women, older adults and people with chronic diseases. Illnesses are more likely to get sick from contaminated food pathogens. What are the symptoms of a foodborne illnesses? Common symptoms include upset stomach, abdominal cramps, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, fever and dehydration. Symptoms can be mild to severe. Then another one is types of foodborne diseases. The types of foodborne diseases is further divided into two main groups in uh, diseases. Food poisoning. Food poisoning is further divided into two poisonings. First one is chemical poisoning. Another one is biological poisoning. Biological poisoning is further divided into two main groups. Poisonous plant tissues and another one is poisonous animal tissues. Food infections is defined by caused by the various pathogenic microorganism ingested with the food. Let me move upon the next topic, types of foodborne illnesses. What are the foodborne illnesses in causative agents? First one is salmonellosis. This is the bacteria causative agent. Then another one is bacillobacter, campylobacter jejuni is the causative agent of bacteria. Then another one is virus, hepatitis A virus. This is the causative agent of viral microorganism. Then another one is norovac virus. Then trichnosis parasites. Sigillosis is one of the causative agent of bacteria. Listeriasis is the causative agent of bacteria. Then rotovirus is the causative agent of viral microorganism. Anisakiasis is the one of the causative agent of parasites or protozoans. Giardiasis is one of the causative agent of parasite and protozoans. Then amoeboids. Then another one is botulism. Botulism is the causative agent of bacterial microorganism. Then last one is E. coli or Escherichia coli is the causative agent of bacteria. Next topic, types of foodborne illness. These are the four main groups. First one is infection. Infection, what is mean by infection? Eating food contaminated with pathogens, with pathogen substances. 
then second one is intoxication intoxication define eating food contaminated with the toxins formed by the bacteria microorganism bacteria microorganism is the causative agent then eating food contaminated with other biological or chemical toxins chemical means heavy metals toxins or heavy metal poisons then third one is toxin mediated infection what is mean by toxin mediated infection eating food contaminated with pathogens that grow in the body and form toxins then finally types of uh, microorganism allergy next slide what is mean by food borne disease food borne disease is commonly derived illness caused by the ingestion of contaminated food symptoms often affecting stomach or intestinal tract including intestinal tract is furtherly large intestine or small intestine includes the symptoms of food borne diseases nausea or continuous vomiting diarrhea abdominal pain next is the high level and medium level of spread of causative agent high level of food borne illnesses is spread to human beings first one is cooked food to be eaten by cold dairy creams milk leafy salad vegetables then pasteurized piles filled with meat fish or vegetables especially when eaten cold raw meat and fish reheated food or especially rice then medium or low level food borne illnesses boiled vegetables cooked food for immediate consumption dried foods fried foods fruits and fruit products but not fruit drinks that may be adulterated with the water have added ice pickles and chutneys salty foods and soups symptoms of food borne diseases sometimes non specific symptoms and symptoms outside gi gi means gastrointestinal tract that includes large intestine or small intestine depending on the causative agents then young children pregnant women elderly and immunocompromised persons at greatest risk for severe food borne illness next topic survey food borne illness in every year an estimated 1 in 6 people suffers from food borne illness each year in each year 48 million illness in the food borne diseases and 3000 deaths more than 1000 outbreaks detected annually then 35 billion in medical cost lost productivity and illness related to mortality in each year in every year on the next topic types of causative agents what are the food borne causative agent first bacteria viruses fungi protozoans nematodes algae archaea multicellular or unicellular microorganism animal parasites animal parasites with the best example helminthes parasites helminthes then last one is pesticides pesticides are heavy metals heavy metals example lead silver nitrate pesticides example chloropyrifos or um, insecticides common causative agents bacteria what are the bacteria included in the causative agents bacillus cereus campylobacter clostridium botulinum clostridium ferpingens escherichia coli or e coli cigotoxin producing e coli microorganism enterotoxin producing producing e coli enteronivisiae e coli enteropathogenic e coli e coli means escherichia coli in the presence of human intestine listeria monocytogenes salmonella this is a non typhoid microorganism salmonella typhi sigella staphylococcus aureus vibrio cholerae yersinia enterocolitica then what are the examples of food borne diseases in the viruses norovirus astrovirus hepatitis a virus then another one is parasites or protozoan causative agent of food borne illnesses cryptosporodium cyclospora entamoeba histolytica giardia intestinalis trichinella then chemicals or other heavy metals or other pesticide included in the all agriculture field uses insect insecticides heavy metals pesticides fungal toxins or fish toxins frequency of causative agent in food borne outbreaks in the pie diagram burden of food borne disease from meal then another one is what are the causative agents emerging pathogens emerging pathogens is mainly the food borne illnesses emerging infections conditions increasing in terms of their extent or impact on populations in the human being populations 
microorganism that are appearing for the first time microorganism what are they bacteria virus protozoans nematodes and escherichia coli then another one is hiv human immunovirus or aids is an infection that will challenge the public health systems for some years to come emerging pathogens next topic emerging current infection previously undetected or unknown infections agents are called emerging infections what is mean by emerging infections previously undetected or unknown infectious agent are called emerging infection lesser known infectious conditions are also examples of current infectious diseases that are emerging as important public health challenges important public health toxicology then examples of emerging current infection e coli escherichia coli other food borne pathogens campylobacter jejuni salmonella listeria monocytogenes and vibrio cholerae species then let us we see causes and symptoms of food borne illnesses food borne illnesses is caused by consuming contaminated foods or beverages or water contaminated many different disease causing microbes or pathogens or pathogenic microorganism can contaminate foods or water so there are many different types of food borne illnesses or food borne diseases most of food borne diseases or infections caused by a variety of bacteria viruses and parasites and other disease or poisonings caused by harmful toxins or harmless toxins or chemicals including pesticides or insecticides that have contaminated food many food borne pathogens also can be acquired through recreational or drinking water from contact with animals or their environment or through person to person spread in the food borne diseases next the symptoms of food borne illness let us we see the main point is symptoms of food borne illness common affected the persons the common symptoms of food borne illnesses are continuous diarrhea or continuous vomiting typically lasting 1 to 7 days in one week other symptoms might include abdominal cramps nausea fever joint or back pain aches and fatigue what some people call the stomach flu this is the food borne diseases causative agent may actually be a food borne illness caused by a pathogen what are the examples of the mainly pathogens first one is virus secondly bacteria or parasites in contaminated foods or drinking of pathogens waters the incubation period the time between exposure to the pathogen or onset of microorganism symptoms can range from several hours one or two week let us we see food borne diseases what the main role of food borne diseases what is the principle of food borne diseases food borne diseases may be caused by a bacteria or bacterial toxins viruses fungi and fungal toxins zoonotic parasites protozoans nematodes pesticides residue drug residue heavy metals and food adulterants and food additives adulterants are the insecticides among these the microbiological contaminants are most important the content of developing countries or developed countries to date 250 different food borne diseases have been described and bacteria are the causative agents of 2 3 of them among the predominant bacteria reported include escherichia coli salmonella species shigella aureus species bacillus cereus and clastridium species streptococcus aureus vibrio species listeria monocytogenes and campylobacter species then yersinia species brucella species and lastly mycobacterium species etc among viruses rotavirus norovirus or norovac virus and hepatitis a and hepatitis e virus are reported to be the predominant of food borne diseases let us we see the next topic causes of food borne illnesses commonly recognized food borne infections are campylobacteriosis this is the causative agent of bacteria campylobacter then another one is cryptosporidiasis the causative agent of food borne illnesses or food borne pathogen cryptosporidium then third one is cyclosporiasis this is the causative agent cyclospora species this is the bacteria causative agent fourth one is e coli or escherichia coli fifth one is giardiasis is the causative agent giardia 
மைக்ரோ ஆர்கானிசம் தென் லிஸ்டீரியாசிஸ் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் பான் இல்னஸஸ் லிஸ்டீரியா மோனோசைட்டோஜின்ஸ் தென் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் நோரோ வைரஸ் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் ஆர் நோரோ வாக் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் வைரல் கேஸ்டோடோ என்டரிட்டிஸ் தென் சால்மோனெல்லாசிஸ் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் பாக்டீரியா சால்மோனெல்லா ஸ்பீஷிஸ் கோம்ப்ராய்டு ஃபிஷ் பாய்சனிங் திஸ் இஸ் த அஃபெக்டட் த ஃபிஷ் இன்டெஸ்டைன் சிஜெல்லாசிஸ் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் பாக்டீரியா சிஜெல்லா டாக்ஸோ பிளாஸ்மோசிஸ் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட்பான் பேத்தோஜன்ஸ் டாக்ஸோ பிளாஸ்மா கேண்டி தென் விப்ரியோ இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் வைரஸ் விப்ரியோ பேரா ஹீமோலைட்டிகஸ் தென் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் எஷினியாசிஸ் இஸ் அ காசியேடி ஏஜென்ட் ஆஃப் பாக்டீரியா எஷினியாசிஸ் ஸ்பீஷிஸ் then let us we see foods associated with food borne illnesses raw foods of animal origin that is raw meat and poultry raw eggs and pasteurized milk and raw shellfish are the most likely to be contaminated in the food borne illnesses fruits and vegetables can also be contaminated with animal waste when man here is used to fertilize produce in the field in the agricultural oriented field or unclean water is used for washing the produce next raw sprouts are particularly concerning because the conditions under which they are sprouted are ideal for growing microbes or growing microorganisms in the causative agents unpasteurized fruit juices or cider can also be contaminated if there are pathogens on the fruit that is used to make it any food item that is touched by a person who is ill with vomiting or continuous diarrhea or who has recently had such an illness can become contaminated when these food items are not subsequently cooked example vegetable salads or uh, flesh cut fruit they can pass the illness to other people and spread the food borne diseases next let us we see the what is food hygiene is about making sure that food is safe to eat by the customer hygiene is a science of preserving health food hygiene is much more than cleanliness include all practices precautions and procedures involved in cooking process these are the food hygiene is food hygiene includes the consumption of food the prevention of food poisoning personal hygiene staff must have a proper training pest control food preparation practices cleaning system refrigerating and heating then finally waste handling of food hygienic practices and prevention of food borne illnesses correct food hygiene or direct or indirect fecal contamination then second one is correct food processing heating processing cooling processing and correct food storing processing third one is correct personal hygiene to control secondary spread in the food borne diseases then third one is food food handlers should have consecutive negative fecal cultures before returning to work with the food these are the following the five principles to help prevent the food borne diseases or food borne illnesses wash your hands second one is properly handle raw animal or raw vegetable products or raw materials third one is use clean and sanitized utensils equipment and surfaces as the utensils then third one is use food before it expires fourth one is keep animals away from food and food preparation areas then let us we see proper food handling is key to food borne diseases prevention five keys first key keep clean wash your hands before handling food and often during food preparation wash your hands after going to the toilet wash and sanitize all surfaces and equipments used for food preparation finally protect kitchen areas and food from insects pest controls and other animals next is preventing food borne illnesses proper handling and preparation of food are important to prevent avoid food borne illnesses food borne illnesses that means food poisoning before you fire up the grill that may the cookouts picnics and holiday celebrations here is important informations about food borne illnesses these are handling the preventing the food borne illnesses then second step is separate raw materials and raw cooked separate raw meat poultry and seafood from other foods use separate equipments use separate utensils such as knives and cutting boards for handling raw foods or scissors 
store foods in containers in containers to avoid contact between raw and prepared foods cook thoroughly then third key cook thoroughly cook food thoroughly especially meat poultry eggs and seafood bring food like soups and stews to boiling to make sure that they have reached 70 degrees celsius for meat and poultry make sure that juices are clear not pink ideally use a thermometer reheat cooked food thoroughly then fourth key is keep food at safe temperature do not leave cooked food at room temperature for more than 2 hours refrigerate promptly to all cooked and perishable food perishably below 5 degrees celsius keep cooked food piping hot more than 60 degrees celsius prior to serving do not store food to long even in the refrigerator do not thaw frozen food at room temperature then finally fifth key of the prevention of food borne diseases or food borne illnesses use safe water or use safe raw materials use safe water or treat it to make it safe select fresh and wholesome foods choose foods processed for safety precautions such as pasteurized milk and pasteurized meat or poultry meat materials wash fruits and vegetables especially if eaten raw do not use food behind its expiry date in the all food materials thank you to one and all